Oniomania is the compulsion to buy things. We happen to be game collectors. I think it goes hand in hand. So join us, will you, on our compulsion to find video games. This is the TGO Crew. We're going to, what, the Ukrainian Cultural Center, Cultural Center yep. which is cool for me because I'm Ukraine, Ukrainian, but it's an auction house, and I haven't been there in over a year. The last time we these two were here, well, we'll just go back to the footage real quick. I wanted that stuff, and Eric was being a I wanted a dream kiss. That's what happened with these two. So I wonder if that bad blood's gonna happen again. It never really left, folks. It never really left. And then I worked all night and then I came here. After I took a big dump. Yeah, I took a big dump too before I got here. Hi, did it! YouTube audience. YouTube audience, I am not gonna crap at the Ukrainian Cultural Center. If you ever seen what those like, you know, resellers look like, you could only imagine what they do to the bathrooms. I guess this is three quarters of the uh, TGO crew. Well, yeah, the other one's stuck working today. Sorry, Freddy. Cause he's got like, he's the one who should have gotten out of work today, probably. You should have got out of work. You should have gotten out of work, jackass. You should have gotten out of work, jackass. Yeah, I should have. Shows uh, corrosion on the batteries. Not good. Light corrosion, but there is corrosion on the batteries in the back of the uh, Game Boy. No. Super Scope, but it's in really bad shape. That Super Scope looked like somebody diarrhea in a pot, boiled it, and then washed the fucking Super Scope in the boiled diarrhea. The smell of mold from a person's ass. That's what I imagined this box would have smelled like if I touched it. My hands would have probably smelled like that. What is that, son? That is not nice, but it's what's a shark? It what's the end? Looks like a That's N64. N64. It's an N64. And the color scheme. Yeah. No, it's miss. It looks like it's no. That's the D-pad. Yeah, but it's got the mi center missing. But still, yeah. that was. Dude, this is always my luck. No. Yes. No, I think he's actually gunning for that one now. Yeah. I'm gonna take that accordion and just smash it upside your head. Just got to hear what was there, and like I'm amazed. I definitely need to take off work for this. It's all. It's all. So, it's all really bad. I saw. That's not making it to Orange Wear. <laughs> wow. I can't believe they even took that. Thirty-five. 
Sorry, I'm trying to really. Yo. It's a heavy sixer. Mm -hmm. Tell games. And some manuals. Some manuals, the system, a couple games. I wanted the whole box, games included. It, it was nice. It was an Atari, uh, Tell Games Heavy Sixer. I'm gonna keep this in the back of my head, but Eric came up and, you know, he wanted it as well. He wanted an Atari. I needed an Atari. I didn't have one at that time. If it turned into just him, you know, I was ready to go in and, you know, be a D-bag. Yeah, I came for the auctions. I stayed for the food and coffee. 55 and a 55. You know, Dom, look, um, notice they were really all empty. People were looking at the box, we were surrounding it, telling them flat out that there's no games in them, it's just the cases. So they'd all look and say, oh, yeah, never mind, it ain't worth anything. They had the foam, which is more important as a collector than anything else. Having those foam-like pads is really hard to find, and the golden eye that was hidden in there was like a bonus, and most people didn't notice it sitting in there. What they noticed was the PS2, what, uh, the PS1 games. I'd say it's a good buy, but as I said, no games in it. Yeah. Maybe one or two of them, but the biggest draw to it, it has the phone. And the boxes. So you can always just get the game loose, yeah. and the boxes are in good condition. Breakfast champions right here. Coffee and a hot dog. Kraut. It's kind of gross. I mean, normally you leave that thing on touch. You don't eat the side. I still have Buzz Cola. But, uh, some blood. Oh my. <laughs> You know who'd win in that fight? <laughs> Takei. Takei. Oh god. Takei all the way. Hey Tom. <laughs> Eric Lindros. On a break, we were smoking and we were eating, and I decided to look up what heavy sixer it was. And um, it wound up being a Tell Games one. And you know, from what I was seeing, I think it was like Atari Age, and Nintendo Age, and a couple eBay completed sales, and some Amazon stuff. It was around 50 to 70, depending on what day of the week and location you lived in. If you don't know, buy that number one buy, buy that buy, buy 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 buy, I know who the major resellers are. Obviously, a couple pop up here and there, but you get to know them real very quickly. You know, from an up against a reseller, he's got a very low limit. I can beat him easily. <laughs> You know, it was a nice Atari. We checked the values of it, and it's actually a good price. Now I've got my own Atari. Jumped up way too quick. No, dog, this is gonna be great though. Mystery VHS. What's in the mystery VHS? Wow. We have to we have to Is it Daddy Bone and Mommy? Dude, 
history of the age Pregnant States. Poppers 9. This is fantastic. Listen to me, VHS. There could be so much action on these. Or illegal activity. God knows. I say we make a night out of it. Yo, when the girls do their Disney night, we do our fucking mystery VHS night. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be Why do they let you out? I quit. And the only game I wanted out of that lot was the Journey game on 2600, because Don't Stop Believing. Asphalt. That's the name of the episode. TGO 12. Asphalt. Alright. I feel like I'm about to get grilled, you know? <laughs> Police interrogation. It's the hot seat, welcome to it, new style, bitches. Oh, I'm screwed. He still didn't even give me the name. He told me he was gonna give it to me. You, Eric. You. I can't even want a stack of Playboys. Oh, Playboys. Yeah, I was like, Seriously? and they smell really bad. And Pete put and it in the back. Hey guys, hope you liked the episode. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment. Most importantly, if you want to catch all my latest stuff, hit that subscribe button. Now, if you want to check some more episodes out, check the first part of the Gaming Onio Maniacs, episode 11, part one, closings and winnings. Also, if you want to check out to when I went to Asbury Park Comic Con, definitely click that link as well. And finally, if you want to see the first part of the Sega Box video, well, click the prologue button and watch all five episodes. This is Dahmer's Cool Stuff, and as always, do good gaming.